to sit down with Sidney Crosby and ask him lots of questions. How long have you been playing hockey? What age did you start? I think three years old. So many throwbacks today. I know. I love this throwback, though. Look how young Selena looks. Yeah. All right. Now, if you are pining for a piece of Steel City stardom, look no further than the Heinz History Center's Muse Western PA Sports Museum. All of your favorite hockey heroes are there. It's immersive. It's fun. And it's got more hockey history than you could ever imagine. And Selena Pompiani Matheson is there as well with museum director Andy Masick. Take it away, Selena. <laughs> David and Heather, you know it is always a great day for hockey. The Pittsburgh Penguins opened up their regular season last week, hoping to win their sixth Stanley Cup championship this season. I think it's going to happen. There is no better place to be to drop the puck on the 2021-2022 hockey season than right here inside of the Western Pennsylvania Sports Museum in the Heinz History Center. So I am with President and CEO of the Heinz History Center, Andy Masick. We are in. It's a great day for hockey exhibition, starting with the one and only Mario Lemieux. Mario Lemieux, Lemieux means the best, the best in French. And it was 30 years ago that Lemieux and the oh. Pittsburgh Penguins won their first Stanley Cup. And he's famous for holding that cup He's high. hoisting it. And we have a lifelike figure, full size, six feet four inches tall, 200 pounds, Mario hoisting that first Stanley Cup. And you know what is so amazing to me, Andy? I mean, he changed the game oh. of hockey in so many ways as a player and owner, and he is the only man to be a player and owner to have his name written on the Stanley Cup. Now, this is a replica of the Stanley Cup. We had the original here, but we made an exact replica, and you're right. He's, he's listed wow. as both a player and an owner. It's a remarkable thing. It is so cool. And I love everything in this exhibit, but I especially love all of these amazing, iconic hockey jersey, starting with the Pittsburgh Pennies ice hockey, and that was the women's team. Well, you really know your hockey history. That's right, the Pittsburgh Pennies. But look at some of these other jerseys. Oh. Tell, tell we, us what we got. Um, I love these. We have everybody in here. We have, of course, Lemieux, Crosby, Marc-Andre Fleury, Gino. So you have all of the exact jerseys that these players wore, and people can visit it right here at the Heinz History and Center. And these are all game worn jerseys wow. but you know there's something for the kids too not just the the hockey aficionados you can actually interact with things like Ooh. Sidney Crosby's dryer <laughs> So this story is always interesting to me, Andy, because in that clip that you saw earlier of me interviewing Sydney when I was 13 years old, we had video of him shooting pucks yeah. at the dryer right. at his house, but we found out that's really not the true story. There was a net against the dryer, and when he missed the net, it would go... He slammed yeah. it into the dryer. Ooh, well, this is fun. Go ahead. You can dry it. Oh. Oh, I'm oh not yeah. Look at that. Let's see what you got. Oh, come on! <laughs> One more. All right. Woo! Well, there's something else you might be good at, and that's bubble hockey. Everybody Not loves good. bubble hockey. <laughs> yes. So Ooh. here at the sports museum, you can do it. Look, there's the puck. Oh, oh! I'm not good at uh -oh. this, Andy. Where's my guy? I don't know. Where's your guy? See, Get him. I'm em. not good because I'm the Flyers right now, our cross-state rival. So the Flyers are but never supposed to win. But they've only got two Stanley Cup. We've got five. <laughs> We're yeah. working on number six. Woo. You know, when the kids come here to, pl <laughs> oh. to play uh, in the month of October, they can come for free. The whole month of October. The whole History Center is open for the month of October, uh, thanks to Highmark. Uh, oh. So That is awesome. Oh, boy. Well, I'm going to say you won because you were the Penguins here. Flyers, uh-uh, not so good. <laughs> but Andy, thanks for letting us come in here. And don't forget, everybody, there is a game tonight, too. It's Mike Lang night. I'm excited. So the Penguins face off against the Dallas Stars. So we're in here celebrating early. Well, come on <laughs> down to the Heinz History Center. It's a great day for hockey. I love Every it. day here at the Sports Museum. You got that right, Andy. Heather and David, we'll send it back over to you. All right. Sounds like so much fun to go visit there. I, and I've actually seen this part. It's impressive. Yeah. Well, they were having a lot of fun there, too. So that's fantastic. Fun. Yeah. And as Selena mentioned, it is Mike Lang night tonight at PPG. Paints Arena. The Pens are going to be honoring the play-by-play -play announcer following a 
46 year career as the voice of the pens. Yeah, and fans in attendance tonight are going to get cards with some of Lang's famous sayings. We all know he has a lot of them. <laughs> Krista gave me one to say, Lord Stanley, Lord Stanley, get me the brandy. And that is a famous saying after the Pens won their second Stanley Cup all the way back in 1992. Nailed it. I tried. I yeah. think.